Now, businesses and organisations in England have promised thousands of free meals to children following the government's decision not to extend the food voucher scheme during the school holidays. Yeah, there's now an online tool that shows people where they can access meals in their area. That's been created by the Food Foundation. Well, Anna Taylor is the charity's director and joins us now. Anna, very good morning to you. Good morning. What do you make of the number of different organisations that have stepped up and said, look, we will provide meals for kids if they need it? Well, I mean, I think it's overwhelming. Um, we've we've uh, worked with an organisation called PLMR who have mapped all this. And just in the last couple of days, we've now got more than 500 sites across the UK that are offering free meals. So that includes local authorities, many of whom are stepping up, charities and businesses. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think it's a, a real reflection of the fact that the public really care about this issue and they really want to see it solved. Now, a lot has been made of the government's decision not to extend that school meals scheme. But the government says, look, it's given a billion pounds to councils. That is to be used as those councils see fit. Their argument is that those councils therefore have more local knowledge and can spend it on other things as well as meals. Do you not see that they have a point there, that that would be a useful way of spending the money? I mean, obviously, the support to local authorities is really, really important. I think... What we see, though, in the scale of this problem is that it's just not enough. Um, we did a survey of school children at the, be at the beginning of September, um, asking them about their experiences over the summer holidays. Um, and one point, the equivalent of 1.4 million children had some form of experience of food insecurity. So that might be that they were uh, seeing their parents skip meals or that they were not eating as much as they'd like themselves because they were worried the food was going to run out or being sent to friends and relatives to eat because there's no food at home. So that was even in the context of the of the voucher scheme reaching a number of children. So I think we're we're in a situation where the scale of this challenge really warrants the government looking fresh at what the policy options are and really putting in place some substantial plans to, to tackle it. Um, now, of course, this campaign spearheaded by the footballer Marcus Rashford, um, but he's not just calling for vouchers for meals, is he? This is part of a package of changes that he says are necessary to help children who would otherwise go hungry. Just talk us through what he's calling for in its entirety. Right, so he has uh, three uh, major asks, and what's important to know is that these asks are directly taken from a government independent review called the National Food Strategy, which was published in July of this year. So these recommendations are recommended in that review as well. So Marcus hasn't made them up himself. He's taken them from that review. Um, and they are, first of all, to extend free school meals to more children. So all children that are from households on universal credit and equivalent benefits. So that's making the scheme, you know, reach a, a larger number of children. Uh, secondly, making sure that those children are also able to get meals in the holidays. And then thirdly, thinking about preschool children. So there's a scheme at the moment called Healthy Start, which provides, uh, provides vouchers for fruit and veg and milk for, for toddlers on a very low income. And again, proposing to expand that scheme so more will benefit and increase the value of the voucher. Um, and let's so it's a comprehensive package, essentially. Yeah, sorry, sorry to interrupt there, Anna. Um, and let's just talk about that new online tool that I mentioned in the introduction, the idea that you can log on, find out where in your local area you can get help if you need it. Uh, we're looking at it now. Just explain how you've put this together and what uh, advice, what help people can get from it. Well, um, yeah, it's called um, uh, Kids Meal Map and um, you can Google it and uh, people who are providing meals can uh, put their details on there. Um, it's an organic process. We're, we're gleaning the information from what people are um, announcing and posting online. Um, but we also help put it, hope that it will be a resource that families that are struggling can look in their local area and see um, what's available. But also, I think it's also important for, for MPs to be able to look into their own constituencies and see what's happening and who's stepping up and providing food. And perhaps they might want to go and talk to some of those people over the coming half term so they can really get, to get, get a deeper understanding of, of the challenges ahead. Yeah, really interesting to talk to you this morning, Anna. Thank you for your time. Anna Taylor there, who's the director at the Food Foundation, uh, talking about that uh, new map, that new online tool that's available, uh, all spearheaded, of course, by Marcus Rashford. Just coming up to a quarter to nine, you're watching Breakfast from BBC News, and you might remember on this programme on Friday...